I feel absolutely emptied out. Muslims from the time of the companions of the Prophet exerted themselves, sacrificed themselves to come here. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. I hope this finds you well and blessed. Where are we today? Oh, there we go. Another flag, alhamdulillah. We're in Istanbul and I am being a tourist today. I'm being taken on a tour of Ayub Sultan, historic region and resting place of a companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share for more like this. Let's go and see what Ayub Sultan has to offer. I feel absolutely emptied out. Allahu Akbar. We went to Dhuhr here and it is so peaceful. Everything is sort of muted and calm and you feel like slowing down and just stopping for a while and really considering what it means to be a Muslim and a believer. And then it's overwhelming really to consider the closeness of Ayyub al-Ansari to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I mean, I'm sure you know the hadith, the story of how did the Prophet, peace be upon him, come to live with Khalid bin Zayd, Ayyub al-Ansari. Hmm? How, how, how? Because his camel led him to his house and just wouldn't move when he got outside. And it was Bedouin tradition at the time that if the person, if this person stopped outside your home, your dwelling from a horse or a donkey or a camel, the first person to reach their saddle and take it inside had the honor of hosting them. And uh, the beautiful, incredible, brave man who's buried here hosted our Prophet, peace be upon him, for seven months. <laughs> So how do we know that Ayub al-Ansari is actually buried here? Well, it's an incredible story of enlightenment and mystery, actually. His grave was lost or unknown for hundreds of years until Fatih Mehmet Rahimullah, remember the 20-year-old conqueror of Constantinople? He wanted to find out where it was. It became something that was really important to him. And remember, this 21-year-old leader, he was he was an inner reflective. He was always thinking about the deen. And his guide was Akshamsuddin Mehmed. You can see one of my other videos. And so they came to a region not far from this, perhaps this area, and they were looking and trying to find it for days. But they couldn't. They couldn't see anywhere that might be the grave of Ayyub al-Ansari. The truth has it because we have a, an isnad, a chain that, that we trust when Muslims say things to each other. So the isnad of this story is this. At Shamsuddin Rahimullah, he fell asleep on the ground and he had a dream of exactly where the burial place was of Ayyub al-Ansari. And so he got up and he put his staff in the ground and he said, this is the precise spot where he was buried. And then he went to make wudu. Now remember all of this area, it just would have been grass nothing for miles and miles, a hillside. While he was making wudu, the young Mehmet Fati, Rahim Allah, a believer, but a young man nonetheless, wanted to be sure, wanted to somehow find out, is this a true dream from Allah Ta'ala or a dream from Shaitan, a misleading dream. So he took the staff out of the ground and moved it a good distance away. When the Sheikh came back from making wudu, he looked and he said, someone has moved my staff and he put it back in exactly the same spot. And then they began digging and they found, they found the burial place of one of the best friends of the companions, one of the best friends of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, fully intact, SubhanAllah. To honor the resting place of the great friend of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sultan Mehmet II commissioned a grand tomb and a vast complex, typical of the Islamic tradition. The Ayyub Sultan Mosque and Mausoleum was made as a place to feed the poor as well. 
The mosque has two separate courtyards, one with a place for wudu and the other which has an ancient sycamore tree in it at the point where a lot of royal ceremonies were held. In true Islamic style, the place has always fed the poor and the worshippers on Fridays and in Ramadan. The animals I noticed are especially spoilt here with seriously friendly cats demanding cuddles every time I sat down. It's a nice thing to watch the pigeons bathing in specially made bird baths around the fountains. And incredible to think that after the three holy mosques of Islam, including Al-Aqsa compound in Jerusalem, Palestine, that this is one of the most loved places of faith to visit for us Muslims. I really recommend you come in April or October, spring or autumn, to get the full effect of the peace that is so present here. Uh, this is Abu Ayyub, the, name, the namesake, <laughs> mashallah, and he's been guiding us today, subhanAllah. We're about to do ziyara, and there's a lot of fear sometimes for us as Muslims going to places where uh, our saints and our special ones and companions are buried. What do you have to say on the topic of ziyara, and why are we here today? Right. No, ziyara is, uh, mashallah, it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful tradition of ours. And it was something that was encouraged by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He encouraged ziyara for the sake of remembrance of death, primarily for the remembrance of death, but also for a means for us to reflect on our own lives, to better ourselves as Muslims, and then also take many of the lessons that we can learn from those pious uh, before us, you know, our pious predecessors. Has found this tiny place just outside the courtyard of the mosque complex and this is whole other level there's a lot of bready stuff in in uh, turkey but if you come to a sultan region oh, you have to try this this is whole other level i'd recommend the one to spinach in mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and these simple places don't go for flashy places always go a little bit off the beaten track yeah it's hit and miss but alhamdulillah this one is a miss Actually, it's a hit. <laughs> What's missing is my brain. I cried a lot during my visit to this incredible mosque complex. It is so profoundly peaceful and moving to be near a companion, a friend of the Prophet, peace be upon him. You really must go. It's a wonderful place. Be spiritual in the morning and then take your family out in the afternoon. I think the Turks have done a brilliant job of maintaining this as a place of visitation for faith reasons and also to keep families connected to the burial place of Ayub Ansari. Rahimullah. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon so that you don't miss any more. And also make sure to comment below. Where would you like me to visit? Keep in touch. I do read your comments. Peace. Salam alaikum.